Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Joao Mario plays with David Neres out wide. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. initial 11 for the visitors well the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game it's the opening match day Champions League group stage match day one underway Joao Mario and the emphasis is on creativity Florentino Gonzalo Ramos really getting stuck in well match day one in the UEFA Champions League always exhilarating and as we look at the group Stuart what might we see in this section well, you can never ignore PSG. They have such a good squad and they can play some great attacking football. That said, I also like the look of Juve this season. They seem to have a really good balance to their team. He must finish! Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And over it comes. And clears his lines. Oh, a vital interception. Plenty of support here. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Trying to deliver it accurately. Struggling to get it away. Real chance. And a really good diving stop. He's driven in the corner. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target.
David Neres. Rafa. And here's Joao Mario. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. David. Well, there it is. The visitors have completely dominated the game in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Well read to ease the pressure. Rafa. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Options in the middle. And close, but offside nonetheless. Frederik Aursnes. Now, can they create something? Oh, could be! And there is the opening goal! Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. One nil then. <laughs> Mohamed. Far from a good pass. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, you can't really have them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Corner kick forthcoming. Played over. And did his job defensively. Sec. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. This could be the equaliser. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, nothing comes of it. Frederik Aursnes. Given away by Benfica. That's useful play. Crossing into the middle. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but he... It's the opening match day. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Well, Benfica have it back now. Bar. On the ball, Florentino. Joao Mario electing to cross into the centre. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Just cutting off the supply. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? 
And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, Benfica haven't seen enough of the ball, as those stats will tell us. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. And now, passing it through. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Cherry. It might be on for them. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. An alert piece of defending. Frederik Aursnes. I must say, this looks promising. Rafa, in position, foiling his opponent completely. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And over comes the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. David Neres. And in possession, Chiquinho. Grimaldo! And that's a corner. And they are committed to making the substitution here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And heading it just over the bar. Well, they know they need to stop him. João Mario, Rafa, and it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. No! 2-0 now and back on the way. Cherry. Well, a good tackle. Cherry. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And just five minutes remaining. Mohamed. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. And time for the change now. Spot on with that challenge.
Flag raised for offside. Rafa. Over the top it goes to Julian Draxler. Gonzalo Gedge. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Well, he did a lot of the heavy lifting, it must be said. Gonzalo Gedge, sensational performance on all levels. Stuart, your assessment of his production? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game.